Hi everyone, uh, Posty's Bean, and today this is from the Australian Mint in Canberra. And I bought a couple of coins on the 1st of January 2022, their very first release for the year, and it was 10.30 in the morning on New Year's Day. So um, I jumped on there, and with much battle against other people, we were all on there and um, again very hard to sign out from the cart. Everything just jams up, they just get overloaded. But what we've got in here, should have in here, is the $1 proof 2022 silver C mint mark dinosaurs, $1. Uh, you're allowed three each and I got three. They're sold out, there's only and they sold out of those straight away that day. I got four packs of the four $1 coins with the four uh, same coin, but one's got C mint mark, the other's got privy marks of B, M and S in a pack. So I got four of them. And I got two $10 gold 2022 Australian dinosaur coins. And that's one tenth of an ounce there. So I've got two of them in there. Beautiful. Um, they only minted 2,000. And I think as of doing this today, they're still there. But the silvers are sold out. My train coins are coming. I've got five of each of the latest three. They're sold out. You can't get them. They're shot up in price big time. And the Tooth Fairy for 2022, they're sold out. And they're unlimited vintage, so I don't know how they sell out. But unavailable anyway. And I've got them coming too. But meantime, in here, three silver dinosaurs, $1, four, four coin packs of $1, and two $10 gold coins. So we'll open her up. Oh, look. They put a lot of packing on top. They put some paper around it, a little bit of paper. Those are better than nothing. Um, bit of foam or a bit more padding in between would have been good and in between each layer but anyhow that's an improvement on them just throwing it in the box. So I will unwrap these, can't wait. Okay that's them out of the box unwrapped so I'll get down nice and close and we can have a look at the boxes but that's a Timius and we've got the Mutabutasaurus on the gold coins that's the silvers have that one gold on here and that's the platypaterigus that's the back of them so mud buttersaurus and timmy mus platypertigus yep real nice yeah ten dollar c mint mark gold proof coin one dollar c mint mark fine silver proof coin and this is a set of four normal aluminium bronze one dollar coins they're gonna look really good but i love dinosaurs anything any history i'm right into it we'll look up close on them they look uh, really good the boxes okay so that's the box to the ten dollar c mint mark proof coin one tenth of an ounce this one the box looks really good Got the colours really nice on that. Earthly colours with the blue. There's the right up on the back. I'll open that up. Number 484 from 2000. Oh, does that look good? Yeah, that looks pretty good from this distance. I'm going to do this up real nice and close. $10, 99.99% gold. Beautiful. So there's the specifications. And the size of it is 17.53 mil. And it's actually the size of our one cent coin at uh, 17.65 mil. A little bit closer, even nicer again and yet yeah. 
So I think this theme, they've hit the mark for all generations. Doesn't matter what age, right through. Uh, I'm pretty sure most people would be uh, interested in dinosaurs. I saw them here at the Melbourne Museum a few times when they had them out. That's the obverse side. 2022, Australia. Really well done. Really nicely minted on that side. Proof. So, um, mirrored background with the uh, etched frost and on the raised effigy and the uh, legend and letters and date. I'll do it up closer now. That's the obverse, up nice and close. That looks great. Really nice, I like that. That frosted look with the mirror back, background. See if it changes with the light. Darkens it up, but you can get a good view there. That's so well minted. Really high grade coin that one it'll be nearly max on the on the proof for uh, a gradient I'll turn her over that's the reverse side up nice and close the Austral Ovenator or the Austra Lovenator anyway take it any way you want I'm sure it's Austral Ovenator so yeah $10 lovely really really nice I like that design it's been minted beautifully high grade highest of grades for sure no problems so yeah one tenth of an ounce so what should that be uh, be 3.1 grams just over lovely I've got two of them so uh, I'll have a look at the other certificate see what number that one is so the other $10 Gold coin was number 472 of 2000. This one's 484 of 2000. That's it up nice and close. A bit like from Jurassic Park, T Rex chasing the uh, Gallimidas, if I remember. Beautiful. Not cheap, but very nice coin. Have a look at the silvers now. Now this is the silver one dollar. You're only allowed three maximum each when uh, everything just broke down again anyway. They get overloaded when these releases happen on the first day. And I happen to score three of these and they're sold out. And yeah, they sold out of them. So we'll, we'll have a look and see what this one looks like. There's the back of the box. So I've started opening it. They're not easy to open, some of these. So Timimus and C Mint Mark Fine Silver Proof Coin. I'll open that up. Not easy to get out of the box, I'll tell you. They're really tight fit because they put this extra paper around for the protection. Uh, so Royal Australian Mint. Number 2403 of 20. And funny, I was the first one on there that morning and these were in the cart and paid for. Well, they're in the cart, but it took ages to pay for again. Nearly straight away. I open up multiple windows and bang, 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 I just buy in each window. And they all go in the cart, shut them all except one and go to the checkout. All right, so here it is. Oh, yeah. I'll zoom down on that. That's the ticket. Authenticity. 2,403. 
So there are the details there. So one dollar denomination, proof finish, 99.99% silver, 5,000 made, I said 2,500, but I think that's another coin that I've purchased. Either way, they sold out. 11.66 grams, I think I said half ounce, it's not, that's another coin. This is about four grams less of half ounce of silver. A ball designer, 25 mil. C mint mark, fine silver, proof, beautiful. Yeah, so same as our $1 coin. It weighs 11.66 grams, and their normal dollar weighs nine. It looks stunning, really nice. And of course the $10, and the one dollar here have got the same designs on them I'll turn her over and that's the reverse side same setup exact same as the ten dollar except for it's one dollar and the ten dollars in gold and of course this one's silver but lovely finish the diesel looks really good the silver that frosting on there makes it look a aluminium color got the C mint mark right there for the Canberra Mint and yes I checked the site and yeah 5,000 but yeah unavailable sold out but keep checking because sometimes when things are unavailable they can crop up on there because they find some more stock and they could last an hour or five minutes but you really got to keep an eye on the on the uh, mint sites Perth and Canberra for unavailable coins or tokens or medallions and um, sometimes they find stock or people didn't come through with in the cart, I don't know, and they just turn up again. So if you keep an eye on it, you never know, these could become available again. If they've made 5,000, I'm sort of guessing they're probably going to put a few more up. But you've got to keep an eye on it. All right, that's lovely. Both coins. That's it up a bit uh, closer. And yeah, same design as the $10. Got the T-Rex, I gather it's a T-Rex. Allosaurus, something like that. Chasing uh, Gallimidas or Timimus. Could be them too. But yeah, great. It looks really good. Well, I said it's got the C mint mark there. Just underneath from Canberra. If it's Perth, it'll be a P. C for Canberra. Yep, really good. I like them. So I'll open up the uh, four pack of four one dollar coins um, and they're in their case as well so that's all right first big case yeah we'll have a look at them now okay that's the four of them all the same coin except for mint mark privy mark privy mark privy mark so canberra brisbane melbourne sydney the obvious side all the same, 2022, QE2, JC, Effigy. Very nice, in a nice Perspex container to hold the four. Unlimited mintage on these. And so there's our standard $1 size, so 25 mil. All nine grams, aluminium bronze, uncirculated, unlimited mintage, A ball designed it, that's the back of it. That's the front of it. Very good. So we have the C mint mark on this coin. That's Canberra. And the mint mark is a raised letter. And you'll find on the Canberra and the Perth minted coins. They're the only two that can have a raised letter on a coin as a mint mark because they minted it. The next one is B for Brisbane and it's a privy mark and a privy mark is a raised square with an incused letter you can get a counter stamp and that's an 
NQ's round with a raised letter. So that's the three. So you got mid mark, counter stamp, and this one being the privy mark. So privy mark is raised square, NQ's letter, and a counter stamp is a NQ's round with a raised letter. So then you got M for Melbourne, just there, and that's also a privy mark. And then S for Sydney, and there, and that's also a privy mark. So that's the four. So the same as the silver one dollar, and same as the gold ten dollar. Kept the theme right through all of them. There, yeah, lovely. I like them. Bit of work in there. Okay, so that's the two together there, the one dollar and the ten dollar gold. So the silver is 25 mil and the gold 17.53 mil. Very nice. Like them, like them a lot. And the uh, the standard four one dollar coins with the privy and the mint mark, lovely. Okay, so that brings me to the end of a, another video. Thanks for watching. Uh, lots more packages to open still. Um, and I should get my train uh, 50 cent pieces this week uh, that I bought on the uh, 6th of January when they were released, their first day release, they sold out uh, and they were 20,000 each on those trains. The very first Queensland one was 10,000, this second lot of three was 20 and next month is the last three. So um, yeah, till my next video, thanks for watching and bye bye.